Hey guys, tractor guy here. Um, just wanted to go over one of my uh, current issues with the Kubota B26. All of a sudden I was having some hydraulic issues and transmission issues. My tractor, um, I could tell that it was struggling with the front loader lifting. Uh, it sounded like there was air in the lines and all of a sudden when I pushed the pedal to go forward, the tractor wouldn't go forward anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys have had the same issue, but I, it was covered under warranty, thank goodness. Um, but there's a little elbow here uh, that they originally put on. It's a, kind of a bad design. I wanna show you real quick. There's this hose coming in, and this used to be one metal line going in. And then there's this elbow. Well, this started leaking really bad um, before I got this replaced. And this is their new design. This was covered under warranty, so they put this in to absorb some of the shock. Um, however, this little guy started, uh, it had a hole in it, uh, worn into it over time. And it was allowing air into the system. And uh, what I did was I put this hose clamp over that hole and it helped for a little while until they ordered a new piece. So I finally got the new part in. I'm gonna switch this out. They actually sold me this whole, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, just this whole piece, this whole metal bar, this hose, this elbow, and this elbow. And it only cost me $35. I don't know if that's Kubota's way of saying, hey, we messed up. This design I know was bad. So we're not gonna charge you very much for it. Um, unfortunately, they wouldn't cover it under warranty to get it fixed this time because this piece is apparently a wearable piece. So I just bought the part. I only need to change this. I'm not gonna worry about any of this other stuff, even though they, they gave it to me all for 35 bucks, which is, uh, I was kind of surprised about that. Uh, but like I said, I, I'm thinking it's because Kubota knew they messed up and this is a bad design because this thing shakes so much that it just eventually wears a hole in it. And that's my problem. So if you have a problem with your tractors, hydraulics, if you feel like your machine just isn't lifting, and then all of a sudden your tractor just does not start going forward or back, look at this, see if you have oil um, leaking down here. I'm going to switch this out and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so I have that elbow taken off, but here's the piece that I actually had trouble with. You can see how that wore out. I'm hoping this new one is better, um, but yeah, this new one looks exactly the same, so I'm probably gonna run into the same problem down the road with it wearing out, unfortunately. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you before I put this on. So I thought it was gonna be kind of problematic getting it back on. It's not as bad as I thought. It pretty much just slips right on there. I thought it was gonna give me some trouble. So uh, yeah, pretty easy fix, just slips right on. And now that elbow will just go right into there and tie into that. All right, so I got the new parts put on. Um, I think the whole process took me about 30 minutes. You can see why they changed it from going from a straight metal pipe to this. Because when you're riding around, this thing needs to flex quite a bit with all the movement that goes on on the tractor. Yeah, the original one wore this one out and it started leaking really bad. So they changed it through warranty, added this for flexibility. Unfortunately, this, uh, whatever material it's made out of is still, it's not sh quite strong enough and it wore out after just six months uh, after they replaced it. So um, 35 bucks ain't bad though. They give you the whole thing. Again, this is the old one, the six month old one and it already wore it out right there. So. Let's hope this one lasts a little longer.